fans, uh, we have a, an exciting announcement to make. We are going to be reviewing a very controversial trilogy, or sequel trilogy, um, and, and it is an iconic sound that Michael is going to quite enjoy. If we seem um, uh, rather emotional, it's because this is our third review and our brains hurt. Michael, take a seat, please. In, in the, in the... the most god-awful trilogy made by Disney. Let's Star get... Wars Episodes 7 through 9. Let's get started. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, so I had a really bad uh, tech issue in this video, as you can see um, there's no audio in this first little section of the video. Uh, the microphone on the camera was on, but it wasn't plugged into the camera, and when that happens there's no audio in the video at all whatsoever. This is not the first time that this has happened, and hopefully I will remember to keep it plugged in when we're doing videos from here on out. So yeah, um, I'm gonna have Orphan Joker come in and fill in what he thought on the movie. It's been quite a while since I reviewed this film, probably like about a week from recording this and whatnot. Um, yeah, I'm an idiot. Tech issues happen. <laughs> oh my goodness, I wish this stuff wouldn't happen. Probably didn't help the fact that I had a couple drinks before uh, doing this review. When we recorded this, but uh, anyways, um, here is Orphan Joker filling in his thoughts today on this movie that was recorded a week ago. So, Orphan Joker, the floor is yours. Hi, how's it going? Ah, ha, 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 ha. So Mike, uh, I didn't plug in the mic, and so I'm doing my first anime dub of myself talking and shaking my head back and forth and just kind of enjoying the chair and talking about episode 7 and why episode seven's really good and don't remember what I said here because it's been a while, so it's like, like really, really exciting and, um, and I'm a half second behind, which is like your typical anime and, <laughs> well, I, I assume I'm talking about the beginning and so the beginning of the movie is really good uh, they, they take off right at the beginning explaining how they got where they got what's happening introducing new characters so it, it shows that the, the rebellion kind of worked but they're still fighting it's not over they, they do the whole fight thing and it takes a while before you get to Leia and Han but it, it quickly introduces a lot of people and so I, I, I've stopped looking at my face, so if this is really weird, I apologize. But this is, this is my English dub of myself, who's clearly speaking Japanese. And Dylan's over there scratching, scratch, 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 scratch. And, and Mike's washing his hands because they're very unsettled, probably because of what I'm saying, which I don't remember, but that's okay. It's a good movie. I liked it. I don't remember what I say in the rest of this, but I very much enjoyed this movie. I did not like the second one but I enjoyed this one. It was very good. So, if you don't like my dub, please put down in the comments, uh, and we'll try not to do this again. Otherwise, I'll do this again. So you better comment in the comments. Amen. But because space, because space has to work, that would be like literally the only space problem, but at the same time, we can't hyperdrive now, so who knows, maybe they put a shield up. So, I have no plot holes for this movie, no. No science time with Josh for this movie. This movie was an overall one. A really good movie. So it's, it it got a seven because it is not my favorite Star Wars movies, and there are other movies that have more passion drive or artistic feel to them. This one didn't have like super passion or drive for me either time, but it was a good movie. It's a movie I definitely wanted to rewatch and enjoyed watching. I my first time same. viewing it, I would have given it an eight. Yeah. Second time viewing it. In light of other good movies I've seen since it, I would say it's but a seven. As a standalone, you'd say it's a seven? As a standalone. As a, a Star Wars movie, I would give this 
like an eight and a half, nine, because it has it has story. Uh, it keeps up. It, it it adds more world. It adds more aliens. It adds more depth to the story. More of an expansion to the story. I didn't feel like they cut or chopped or did something stupid or weird to discredit the old, but add to them. So uh, going with the numbers, um, like, huh. I, like I said earlier, uh, this is the one of the most profitable films we've ever reviewed. The budget for this film was two hundred fifty nine million dollars. The the box office was. Two point zero six eight billion dollars. Not a surprise. The critics put it on Rotten Tomatoes at nine point three, and then the audience puts it at eight point five. I can see how the critics might be a little bit high. Audience still scores it high. People overall like the film. My opinion on this is uh, number one. Um, I feel like people bitch about this movie too much, and the resurgence of the sequels because we're rebooting the Star Wars franchise. We're continuing the Star Wars franchise and, and, and having a bunch of off things that span off of this that create more Star Wars stuff. Um, it could be like something that's of Star Trek where it's dead and people are just like, well, that was cool when it lasted. At least this is expanding. <laughs> um, so so I really enjoy how well done it is overall. Um, some people don't like the, the direction it's going in, and I've talked about it in depth before. We're like, I enjoy this direction it's going in. But no matter what, with the series, with diehard fans like this, like Star Wars, there's going to be people that are like, this sucks, the, the originals were always the best, and it's really, right. really cancerous fan base. There's those who like the original trilogy, there's those who like the prequel trilogy, and there's those who like the new so, trilogy. So, as a movie, this is a good setup film as well. It, it has a lot that has to do with A New Hope, literally playbook by playbook, A New Hope. They wanted everybody to like this film. It was the return of Star Wars. Um, a, a whole new horizons are happening. They're introducing so many different plot points. Sometimes it can kind of be like, well, we have a lot of questions on what's going to happen. I'm excited. I can't wait for these new movies to come out. We'll see how those go. Um, but <laughs> the feeling of this movie when it came out was this is a new universe. There's so many new characters. There's so many new angles going on. What happened with what happened with Luke? What happened with Ben that made him steer towards the dark side? Does he have too much Vader in him? All these questions were asked whenever this came out. So I felt like they did a really good job overall with this film. Um, I'm going to say an 8.6 on this film. I'll go slightly higher than the average audience. Um, but overall, I thought it was, uh, it was pretty solid. All right. Like I said in the beginning of the review, I would like to be uninterrupted and not like, ah, oh, you're wrong, Mike. Because, you well, know, my opinion back in 2015 and 2021 could be different. Before you start, uh, you're wrong, Mike. No yeah, this is, this is Mike's, uh, this is Mike's I don't give a shiz, objective opinion. So, Take that in note. I will point out right now that as of 2021, watching this film, um, if I were to compare... The, okay, I know, we're watch, I know we're watching these film by film as a film standalone, but in my opinion... As a trilogy itself, I feel like this film is the strongest of the three. Like Krieger said, it's a, it's literally like A New Hope, or as I would like to say, it's a rehash of, an, of The New Hope. Sometimes rehash is used in a very bad terminology kind of way, but in 2021 standards, um, The Force Awakens is not the worst. I actually enjoyed The Force Awakens in 2021 standards. Now, to kind of explain why I didn't really enjoy it back in 2015 when it first came out was because I personally felt like that there were a lot more films in 2015 that were a lot stronger, that were a lot better, and there were, like, in my opinion, just overall good compared to The Force Awakens. To kind of respect your opinion and the argument we had with you and Harvey Beardman that we had after the movie in 2015, like, yeah, at the time, I thought The Force Awakens wasn't that good in 2015 because we've seen other films that I thought were better than that one in 2015. But in counter, in, in the counter of that, 
I saw probably about 40 movies, 40, in 2015 in 2021, if we're just thinking about this as a standalone film and not comparing it to the other two films in this trilogy, this is the strongest one in the trilogy. Get to the get to the juicy parts. What about it? You like a part or you don't? It's literally a rehash of episode four. So, and like, in my eyes, I'm just kind of like, oh, it's a rehash of episode four, but new characters couple cool things here and there, a couple exciting things, like, oh, wow. But it's it's literally like a wash, rinse, repeat, if I were to be realistic. As a movie itself, if I were to ignore the fact that it is a rehash of episode four and it is a trilogy of a really bad trilogy, I am going to have to go with a seven out of ten. It is a lower rating than both you and you. And the critics and the audience. But, like, I feel like it could have been a little bit better. Just by a hair. Like, what? It, like, like I said before... Nine and a half means a little bit better. I think the staff thing was too nitpicky. No, no, not the staff. No, no, we're ignoring the staff thing. So, it's just in general. Like, I feel like, just the movie itself, I feel like that it needed... A more originality. No, 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 no. Not originality. As a movie, was it action packed? Was it interesting? Was it cool? Was I it? I thought that was a really good film. It was okay in my eyes. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not lying. Like no, I like tell the people like, at home what about like, it made it not ten out of ten. It's just it was okay. Like I mean, what specifically? I. It was just okay. Like it wasn't good. It wasn't bad. It was just like. It was okay. I think you have a predisposition to hate this film forever. No, reason. I really don't. You can't I, I, Chewbacca didn't die. He's Krieger, mad. Krieger, I'm not lying to you. When it comes to the trilogy, this is my favorite one. So, what don't you like about it? Honestly, don't know. Was it's there just, plot holes? Was there bad there's no acting? plot holes. Was there CGI I, that I just, was weird? I just was feel it? like that... It, it, I Space Combat was good. I feel like I've just seen this before. Like, even before I watched it in theaters back in 2015, I feel like I've seen it before. Okay. So it wasn't... It felt, I feel like it was just a, a, a. I feel like it's just a remake. Did you like the original? Of which trilogy you're talking Wait, about? Whichever one you're talking about. Episode that it, four. Yeah, I love the episode four. Would you watch it again? Yes. So this is just you watching it again, but with new characters, new action, new CGI, new. But world. that's the world. problem. Is that like it's it's it, it's a, it's a rehash of episode four, but it's nothing like episode Listen, four at the same time. The reason why they made it, where they're referencing all the old stuff, and they, they're going off the same formula as the old stuff, is because they know like, that there's die. -hard, hang on, they know that there's die-hard fans out there that are like, this is nothing like the original. If they go off completely something different, they just kept with the theme because if they were to step away from that, people are going to be like, this is not Star Wars, this is not cool. So, so they were going to at least do the starter one to hook people into the new universe by uh, sticking to that theme. Otherwise, there would have been thousands and thousands and possibly millions of Star Wars fans that would have just abandoned the whole series. It's, 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 they did a really good job of doing what's really hard. It's the same with Ninja Turtles. Is you have fans of the old and fans of the new. And you have to bring both of those fan groups into the even new. And so they did. They, the reason the old ones, the, the, the prequels were able to make sense is because they were making sense of, well, this doesn't make any sense. Like, can you explain this universe? It's very vague. There's not a lot of monsters. Like, who are the Jedi? What is the Sith? This doesn't make any sense. So, well, come watch the prequels. Okay? And we're taking both of those. Like, okay. The world has been destroyed. The, the, the chaos has ensued. Now that we understand the prequels and then the New Hope. Okay. So where's the planet going to go now? Where's the universe going to go? And they're like, good question. And then they just like automatically, the universe is new again. Like, okay. So the next two episodes are explaining both what's happening and what happened in the image. Tell the people but at home at least one thing about this movie that you did not appreciate that's preventing it from giving it 10 Because we are giving it a 10 out of 10, so we don't want you to give it 10 out of 10. Because there's reasons you I don't want. A I, I, I specifically don't like this because I uh, the things that I would specifically not I already said about it. this is, no, that wasn't specific. I don't like... I don't like the casting for Kylo Ren. I didn't think he's good. I don't like how pouty he is. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like that Ray is so freaking overpowered off the get-go that she knows tricks that you could just say, oh, well, maybe it was from a legend that she learned. But they don't explain some things, too. Like, they don't mm -hmm. explain the That's arm thing. They don't explain... They don't explain um, a lot of... Snip, like, 
snow later on. This one might be a little, a little, um, bit too nitpicky and a bit more bitchy, but I feel like Do this, it. I feel like this film needed more screen time. Mm -hmm. like I needed, I needed like at least probably 20 to 30 more minutes of screen time. Just a little bit more. Because I feel like there were some bits here and there that were like, oh, this is why. Next scene. Yeah, it felt like they had to cover a lot in those short amount of time. I know, I, I know the film was two hours by itself. But I feel like if this film was at least, at least, almost, if not three hours long, because I know the average Star Wars fan would not give a damn if it was a three hour three hours long film. If it was at least three hours, I feel like they would cover all the bases they needed to do. So you feel like, so it's not so much that you were upset that it wasn't new, it's you felt like they spent too much time on old stuff that they weren't able to explain things correctly. Yes, and even, 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 on, even, even on this viewing yes. today, 2021, today, I still feel like it's too much like episode seven, episode seven, episode four, and even watching it in 2021, I still wish it was nothing like like I, I, I wish like, they like, had, like, like, wish I, like, I, I, I would love the hints, like yes. tiny hints here and there, and there and there and there and there, tiny hints here and there of episode four or episode three or any other fucking episode in the series. But I wanted more brand new content instead of saying, "Oh, it's like th it's like four, it's like four, it's like four, high it's five. like four. High five. Like so, I so high five. <laughs> like. Like, do you kind of understand how... Mike Check 95 gives it a 7 because you, it spent too much time on cowbacks and not enough time on your that out of you. Do you kind of understand now why I had no, no, a problem no, no. with it back I've then? I've understood it. Now. The audience now has a greater insight into... <laughs> Mike Check 95 gave it a 7, and he gave it a 7 because it spent too much time on callbacks and not enough time on the future universe. And on that note, Krieger Margin is getting his drink. He's getting ready to go to bed. This review and probably lasted longer than they thought it would. No, nope, it We're lasted out. just about the same. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Well, yeah, everyone, this is Mike Check 95. Everyone else is is signing out, turning lights on, all that bullshit. We, um, next time we see you, it will be. Next time we see you, it will be the uh, the, the last. The Skywalker. next one. No, the last Jedi. So what? We'll have Jedi. all kinds of... Not last Jedi. It's the, it's the other one. The second. We'll have, it's we'll the have, last we'll, Jedi. We'll have more educated critiques.